Welcome to Pretending People's Walking Theatre. To get the most out of this production, you need to get yourself to a location where you can go for a walk freely and where you are least likely to be disturbed. You are also asked to engage your imagination and play along. For the purposes of this story, you will be playing the role of Sam. The world is a strange and fearful place. Various towns and cities across the globe have been put under extreme lockdown measures with no one allowed in or out due to the outbreak of an unknown virus. As life seems to carry on as normal in these locations, the outside world is suspicious. When a location announces its lockdown, a pattern forms. Residents are digitally cut off from the outside world and key political and public figures leave before the border is closed off. With the outside world losing all contact with their family and friends on the inside, riots and protests have erupted around the globe, with people demanding answers. Governments are standing by the decision to close off these towns until further notice, for the good of the world. You are one of two volunteers who have agreed to enter a town in lockdown to gather intelligence to help control the virus. After undergoing immunisation procedures and briefing, you have been dropped off by helicopter in different locations in the town and will be communicated with via radio. The town you are in has been listed as location 356 and has been locked down for over two years. Your job is simple. Follow instructions from the control room and act normal. Don't forget, you are Sam, so respond accordingly. If you haven't started walking already, now would be a good time to pause this recording and get yourself to a location where you can enjoy the experience. It's worth noting here that all of the themes and subjects in this production, although similar to current affairs, are entirely fictional and do not reflect the views of Pretending People Theatre Company. Enjoy. <laughs> Radio test for operatives in location 356. Testing, testing one, two, three. All clear? Clear for contact, over. Copy that. This is Claire from control room. Sam and Richard, I'm watching you on radar. Try not to draw attention to yourselves, but just give me a signal to let me know you can hear me. Sam, if you could just scratch your nose to let me know I'm coming through. Fantastic. And Richard, if you could do the same. Okay, great. It's important to us that you know you're safe. So I'm going to be with you every step of the way. Okay, we've fitted you both with body cams in your clothing. I need to check we're capturing live images, so I need you both now to wave your hand in front of your torso, please. That's great. Okay, we don't know a huge amount about what we're dealing with here, so I need you both to act as normally as possible. If you see people, don't let on that you're from the outside. We can't afford to encounter any problems. Don't forget, the people here haven't been outside the border in over two years. An outsider could cause panic. My God. It's like looking back into the past. Everything is exactly as it was. O'Brien, are you guys getting this? Over. Receiving control room. Good job. Over. I should probably tell you, you'll be hearing the voice of our team in the O'Brien lab. They're on location just outside the border, analysing everything you capture for us. All clear for analysis, over. Copy that. Okay, we need to test your vital signs to be sure the immunisation has worked. Keep walking, and when I tell you, you need to stop and take a breath. Tests show that the virus is airborne, and if you inhale deeply, it can take effect immediately and you will feel nauseous. Don't worry, we've done our research. If the immunisation has worked, you will feel completely normal. Okay, the heart rate's looking good is normal. All right, here we go. Take a deep breath. Now. All clear. Over. Copy. Well done, guys. You're doing great. See, I told you there's nothing to worry about. Right, keep walking and stick to your course. O'Brien will be gathering intel as you go. Control room, we need something up close to the hard surface. Have to see if the virus is still affecting the surroundings. The infrared will pick up what the eye doesn't see, over. Copy that, O'Brien. 
Richard, you just passed a lamppost. Uh, can you see if it, you can be discreet enough to go back and get some close-up shots of it? All you have to do is stand near it. That's it, Richard. Great. Okay, Sam, see if you can find an object to put in front of your body cam. Anything will do, small or large. Our cameras will be able to see the tiniest particles. Off you go. That's it. Okay, that's great, Sam. Richard, you're looking a little flustered. Are you okay? Scratch your nose for yes or rub your chest for no. That's a yes, O'Brien. Okay, keep going, Richard. You're doing great. Sam, are you okay? Any symptoms of nausea? Same thing, scratch your nose for yes and rub your chest for no. That's another yes, O'Brien. Awful. I hope you both realise what a vital role you are playing in all of this. Without you guys, going in in secret, we wouldn't be able to gather any data at all. Even law enforcement are not allowed in. This really is a golden opportunity. Richard, are you sure you're okay? Same as before, scratch your nose for yes and rub your chest for no. Richard? O'Brien, do we still have contact with Richard, over? Connection seems normal, over. Sam, are you hearing me? Scratch your nose or rub your chest? Okay. Richard, I really need you to respond every time, please. Are you hearing me? That's a yes, O'Brien. Try and stay with me, people. I know it's a lot to take in. We haven't seen the world operating like this in a very long time. Just concentrate on my voice and be sure to respond. Picking up another body, over. Sam, don't panic. There looks like someone could be watching your movements. We've picked up on radar someone following your exact path. Can you see anyone? Look, okay, don't react. Just stick to your route. Quicken your pace a little and we'll see if we can lose them. It, it could be nothing. Richard, you've stopped walking. Keep moving, Richard. Richard, can you hear me? Connection is still normal, over. Richard, you need to stick to your route. Don't deviate, Richard. What the hell is he doing? Richard, we're getting all kinds of interference here. You need to stick to your route. Losing signal, over. Stick to your route, Richard. Repeat, stick to your route. Officer is getting close to a domestic property, over. Richard, do not enter that house. Repeat, do not enter that house. Connection failure, over. Christ, what does he think he's doing? Sam, you're doing great. Don't panic. I'm sure he's just feeling a little overwhelmed. What the hell's going on here? Councillor Smith, I don't know. He's just, just gone... AWOL! I thought you said these people checked out. They did. They do. Then why do you think he's gone off on his own, then? What do you mean? He's looking for something in there, or someone. It's not possible. He has no next of kin anywhere near the location. He has passed every test. Oh, we'll see about that. O'Brien! Get me the details of this man's family and work history, past and present. You really messed this up, Claire. Your job was to find the right people for this. Give me that. Right, are you in there? Uh, do you know anything about this? Whatever your name is. It's Sam. I don't give a damn. Whoever you are, you better not cause any more problems than this. Stick to your route and follow orders. Excuse me, Sam. The other voice you can hear is Councillor John Smith. He was a local councillor in the ward of location 356, so... He's quite passionate about this operation. Don't patronise me, woman. I'll start running this show if you can't keep track of your operatives. O'Brien, is there any sign of Richard? Negative. Uh, operative is still inside the property, over. Oh, this is ludicrous. What's he doing in there? O'Brien, run a check on that address and see what comes back. This is a mess. You can say that again. Look, it might be all right. Maybe he was trying to check something out. Even if he does come into contact with someone, they don't know he's from the outside. Blind fool. What do you mean? Body detected close to second officer, over. Sam, there is someone very close to you. The same person who's been following you. C can you see anyone at all? Give me the signal for yes or no. Okay, just keep calm. As long as you act normally, even if they get close, they, they shouldn't suspect a thing. We're gaining connection to first officer. We have a visual, over. It's Richard. Richard, can you hear me? Look at him. Christ. He's covered in blood. He's limping. Richard, get yourself to a safe spot. We'll send someone to pick you up. Are you, are you stupid? Look at what they've done to him. He's as good as done for. How dare you say that? 
I need to get my people out safely. We don't know what's done that to him. It could have been an animal or a... I, I, I... Oh, open your eyes, girl. It's that place. The people there, they're, they're, they're affected. They're wild. As if they sense an outsider. But it's, it's just a virus. It's a sickness. It's a gas. Gas? The forward address is rented by a female, age 36, name of Jessica Sayers. The searches show she once worked at a premier leisure center, which matches with Operative One's employment history. Over. Oh, you see? Gone after his ex-girlfriend. Marvelous. I told you these people should be taken from way out of area. Besides, the immunization clearly hasn't worked. What are you talking about? What's going on? What's this gas? Social control. Didn't you think it was a bit convenient how no one in any location tries to get out? What? I nominated my ward to test the toxin. It had worked in other locations across the world. Some places people were able to be manipulated to comply with law and order. Crime rates dropped to zero. People recycled. People were happily married, happy with what they've got. The only solution for a sustainable planet and economy. This is madness. It is now. After a few trials, people started seeing faults. Affected people were becoming aggressive towards anyone who hadn't consumed the gas. They could sense it, smell it. it it's like they, they wanted to wipe them out. But the tests, the research, Sam's in there now gathering intel. Well, that's what you think. What? The real test was to see if the immunization worked. It's supposed to make the subject blend in, as if they've been gassed but without the effects. It clearly hasn't worked on Richard. This isn't real. It, it can't be. How would they even do something like this? How could anyone gas an entire town? Through everything. It's coming out of the sink, the showers, the drains on the streets, everything. Oh my God, and you let them do it. You volunteered. I was trying to help save the planet. Just look at everything. Riots, climate change. Lack of clean water. There's, there's no third world anymore these days. We're all suffering together. I was trying to stop that from happening. You've turned a whole town into killers. God. Sam, I've got to get you out. Forget Sam. It hasn't worked. Both of them have heard too much anyway. You can't be serious. I'm deadly serious. Sam, walk now as fast as you can. Try and get to the nearest... Get, get off of me! Don't, don't, don't do anything stupid! Claire? O'Brien, show me how this thing works. I, I need a location on, on both operatives. Copy. Sending visuals now. Right. Uh, Richard? R Richard, if you can hear me, just uh, just try and get yourself to an old payphone. There's, uh, there's one in the town centre. There's... It's an emergency code that still gives contact to the outside world. I, I need you to get there and, and dial the hash key, followed by the numbers 592. Then press the hash key again. That'll get you through directly to the control room. I need you to get there and tell me exactly what happened in that house. Do you hear me? Do something to say yes, wave your arms or something. That's it. O off you go, then. Off you go. Multiple bodies detected around Operative 2. Oh, for it? God's sake. Uh, uh, you, you there, Sam. Um, don't worry, I, I know it all sounds a bit scary. It, it's a lot to take in. <laughs> Just stay put and, and they won't harm you if you're standing still. Who knows, that the immunization might have even worked on you. <laughs> Just stay there, Sam. I, I'm... I'm going to cease radio contact now, just for a bit. Don't worry, it'll be fine. Just, uh, just stay put and... Oh! Sam, it's Claire. They can sense you, Sam. You, you've got to keep moving. They're all around you, Sam. Just keep, keep moving. I'll try and get you out somehow. Don't worry. You're doing great. It, it looks like some of them are hiding. Just, just be ready to run if you need to. Oh, I'm bleeding. O'Brien, can we get some medical attention in here, please? I'm bleeding from the head, and and, and I, ha I have John. He's unconscious. Yeah. O'Brien, come in. O'Brien, do you copy? The phone. Hello, control room. It's Richard. I need help. Richard? Uh, how? How are you calling? The man on the radio. The 
other man. John. Yeah. He gave me an emergency code. He said it weren't from a payphone. A payphone? R Richard, where are you? <coughs> I'm in the town centre. You've got to come and get me. They're after me. Who? Jessica. My ex, I, I didn't tell you because you didn't find anything. I just wanted to see if she was all right. I wanted answers. Oh, Richard, it's more serious than we thought. They they knew they would be aggressive. Something has happened to these people and they've been intoxicated. And... <laughs> she hit me. Then the others came. They, they beat me. They, they broke my, I think they broke my leg. Richard, keep calm. Can, can you see anyone around you now? No. I think I gave them the slip. Okay, just stay where you are. I'm going to try and get you both out of here. O'Brien, come in! I need the helicopter to recover my operatives right now. O'Brien, come in! Oh, God. Richard, what's happening? There's hundreds of them. They're walking towards me. Oh, God, please help me! Jesus, can you get on top of the phone box or is there somewhere you can make a run for it? I'm looking for you on the radar now. It's too late. They're here. Oh, God, please. Oh, no, Jessica, it's me! Please! Don't! Richard! <laughs> oh, Brian, please respond. I need medical now. I, I'm losing a lot of blood. Sam, I've got to get you out. Where are you? Okay, got you. Yeah, they're still getting close to you. Keep walking, Sam. Act, act normal. I'm calling emergency services. I'm going to tell them everything. They'll get you out. John! Get back! No! <laughs> There's Sam and they're behind you. Goodbye, Sam. This was a Pretending People Theater immersive audio production. We hope it brought some excitement to your walk. Please note that any of the themes or subjects in the production do not reflect the opinions of Pretending People Theatre Company.